everybody, it's Peter from Indigo River Tiny Homes. We're here in front of our latest home that we're getting delivered up to Lake Dallas tomorrow. This is the Homesteader Deluxe. And we're just gonna do a quick walk around and walk through for you, show, show you all the features. Um, on the front of the house, we'll start here. It's got a 18,000 BTU mini split system for heating and cooling. We always put a storage shed on the front of our houses. For lots of storage, it's got shelves and lots of storage um, for, he's planning to put a kayak in here. Let's go all the way around to the back of the house. We've got another storage shed back there. So we're calling this one the bike shed because it's like, it's low, it's underneath the landing. Here. It's kind of dark. Can you open that other door? Oh, There's there we go. Ah, yay! <laughs> it's got a light inside, and the hot water heater goes in here. The propane tanks go in here. And there's it's got a little cat, cat door because their kitty litter box is going to go in here as well. And that cat door leads to the bathroom, so the cat mm -hmm. can go through the bathroom and have his little potty out here. Yeah. And it keeps the sneaky out of the house. <laughs> and then one of the coolest features on this house is on the outside here. It's got a drop down eat up bar on the outside and a food truck window so you can pass food in and out we're going to build a deck out there on their house whenever they get it in place let's go on inside you go first okay. and then you want to pop up that bar yeah so, so they on can the inside, see there's a pop-up bar too so you have eating inside and outside serving inside and outside somebody would be in here cooking passing food to people on the outside Lots of fun. And they're easy to go up and down. I've, I've been putting them up and down. Oh, yeah, and yeah, really easy to raise up and go down. We've got the, we step into the kitchen here. we got a little heat-out bar here. Um, it's going to be a workstation, actually. There's the storage. storage underneath. And there's a plug, so they can. They were just saying they're going to put their laptops and charge everything down there in that Yep, it's got space. a four-burner propane stove with a full oven, big enough to cook a turkey in. I'm going to get a shot of the oven here. Yeah. Right on. Lots of storage here. You got drawers, doors. You know, you have toe kick drawers way down here for stuff you don't need to get to very often. Beautiful farmhouse sink with a pull down faucet. Got a nice pendant light above the sink. Solid wood, hardwood shelves to match the countertops. Same wood as the beech wood. Got a 10 cubic foot refrigerator. And then the, this is where the microwave goes with this plug behind the shelf. Yeah, got, that... they're going to put a small microwave there. Cool. Or okay. a toaster oven could go there too. Toaster oven. Let's look back this way. We've got the living area. Here it's going to have a three sided wraparound sofa. The, it's got storage underneath all the, all the seats. Drawers under here. And in the center section, Folds out. And is that big enough for two twins? It's a queen size. Oh, okay. Yeah. Folds out to a queen size bed. The cushions will, will fold, you know, will lay down to fill that in. You're going to do double cushions on the side and a single cushion across the back. Yeah. One side yeah, one at a time. <laughs> I just did it, opened and closed it, and it's... It's really easy. Simple. There we go. Yeah. All right, yeah. any other features? Oh, yeah, here's the loft. Yeah, with the loft, we have the ladder here that you take down and hang on the rail here to access that loft. That's just going to be a storage loft for them. Um, do you want me to do that? And then, um, no, that, that's fine. It's easy. You, you can see the hooks on the ladder. You just... This is not a ladder that's going to be used a ton, right. so they just wanted it kind of out of the way most of the time. But sometimes we'll do a ladder that slides easily back and forth. Yeah, we, and we have uh, storage stairs here for drawers and doors, cabinets for extra storage here. And and you put your shoes, when you walk in the door, your shoes go down in this Take little... Take your shoes off right in yeah. the little cubby. And I love those stair lights. Yeah, we got stair lights that light the stair tray, staircase. Pocket door going into the fridge here, or into the bathroom. <laughs> I was looking at the fridge. Um, it's 
has got a beautiful bathroom. I'm gonna need to probably come yeah. here. So we got a vessel sink. And, and close the, those doors. Yeah, Show how these the shower doors comes together in the corner here. It's our Doctor Who shower yeah. stall that we're on tilt here because we're not don't have the house leveled because this isn't where it's gonna stay, but so we got storage toilet. here, we got a little bit of storage built in here. Washer dryer then, goes underneath. Yeah, so what it's a single unit washer dryer that goes there and then you got space for your hamper and then of course the cat will go out there. Let's go upstairs and show them the awesome I'm bedroom. Gonna, I'll just walk and you can talk. Okay. So you're not in the way. So this is a fold down. I'll yeah. show that from... So we got these full wardrobes. Yeah, the, one of the features of our homes is the split level loft. So we're actually standing up next to the bed. Show. I'll show you. Let me go around here. Yeah. So this is a queen size bed platform. More Edison lights. So 6'4" and shorter can stand up over here on this well, I'm on the light landing. <laughs> Maybe 6'2". <two. laughs> well, there, we had a guy 6'4 in Ramblin' Rose oh, yeah. that stood up. I think he was right at, he the, was right at the end. Right yeah. At the peak. But yeah, you can stand up next to the bed. Um, and then we, and so, and she's down by the foot of the bed. Yeah, so you can see. it goes all the way around the foot of the bed so you can stand here and you've got wardrobes for hanging clothes and drawers for drawers for your folded clothes so tons of storage space that's one of the things this that is a full closet space you know was a must in for these tiny guys houses. yeah and that's something that it's always hard to fit into your tiny houses clothes storage space for your clothing so we're walking around all the way around this queen size bed not just for storage and wardrobe access but so you don't have to climb over your partner to get out of the bed so right. this is and then there's a little cat access so the cat can get out onto the catwalk. Right, they were yeah. saying their cat will pretty much stay up there away from the dog. Oh yeah. <laughs> and the, it's got a fall down step to help you get in and out of bed because once you put a mattress on here it's about hip height. So it's still a little bit of a jump up so it'll help you step up on that to get in and out of bed. And the handrail's not installed. The handrail's getting installed tomorrow but there'll be a handrail on the outside edge of the, of the stairs as well. And show, you want to show the catwalk? All the way yeah, so the, the cat comes out here. <clears throat> Is that everything? I think that's everything. Did we forget anything? I think that's everything. All right, well, we're glad you tuned in. I hope you like it. Come see us if you want to build a tiny house. We love you. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Bye. Happy holidays. <laughs>